Hi, welcome back to Therapy Designs. If you're new to this channel, my name is Kelly and this channel is all about teaching you how to create print on demand designs that sell. And as a bonus, if you stay tuned till the end of the video, I have a list of five niches that you guys can be working on right now. All right, so in today's video, I'm gonna be showing you guys how you can create this design right here. This one says retired 2025. I will be talking about the different ways that you can alter this and how you can kind of scale it out. So if you would like to learn how you guys can do this, go ahead and stick around. So here we are on Canvas homepage. And as usual, I'm gonna be showing you how you can design for a t-shirt. So the first thing we're gonna do is go to the top of the page where it says custom size. You'll click on that. We're going to select 4,500 by 5,400 pixels. That will ensure that when you go ahead and print it, it will print um, over 300 DPI on a regular shirt. Now, as always, I like to uh, optimize my designs for the darker colors as they do tend to sell better. So I'm just gonna go ahead and start by selecting black as my background color. So we are going to be creating a simple, mostly text design. This is something for the new year, though it is not a new year design. We are going to do one that is going to be uh, retired 2025. So anytime that we are doing those kinds of um, niches like retired 2025, married 2025, dad established 2025. You wanna get those up in January, that way they can sell all year long. And you can do this year after year after year and just change the, the year on it once you've got a template made. Um, so you could take the same design next year and then go ahead and just change it to retired 2026 and put it up next year. And so these are easy ones that we can then go ahead, use, scale out, change retired to anything else. And, and so just one design can be scaled out tremendously. So super valuable to, you know, take your time, make sure you get a really good template and then you can go from there. So the first thing we're going to do is go ahead and uh, start with the text box. So we will be hitting T on our keyboard here and pulling up a text box. Now I'm gonna do everything in all caps. So I can just go ahead to the top of the page where you get the little A in the big A, hit that, it's going to make everything uppercase. Now for today's design, we're gonna do one that says retired. So I'm just gonna start by putting re retired. Now what we're gonna do a little bit different is the orientation of the text. So instead of having all the text just be horizontal across the page, I'm actually going to go ahead and turn this 90 degrees and we are gonna have the retired over here. And then we're gonna do 2025 over here in two different lines. So again, the way we're gonna do that is hit T on the keyboard. We're going to go ahead and put 2025. And what we're going to do is hit enter here and make these two different lines. So what I've got is something a little bit more like this. And then I do want these to be a little closer together. So to do that, you would go up to the top of the page where you've got uh, the arrows up and down says spacing. You can click that. And then line spacing, we can go ahead and move these a little bit closer together so that it's something more like that. Now we will have to play with it a little bit more once we get the font that we want to use, but this is going to be kind of the general layout. And then at the bottom here, we're going to have one more line of text. And this one is going to say, not my problem anymore. So pretty classic design. So not my problem anymore. And we're going to have to shrink that down a little bit because that is going to be one line straight across the bottom. So it's going to be something like that. And so from here, we're going to go ahead and pick some fonts. Now I'm going to do this in more of a vintage style, but again, you can do this in any style you want. So really you're unlimited in the fonts that you want to pick so long as they look like they're going to go together. You can do a grunge style. You can do more of a retro style, more of a vintage style. I mean, you can do it any way that you like. I'm going to go ahead and go with vintage. And there was one font that I really liked that I did get off of Creative Fabrica, by the way. So um, there's tons of fonts that you can use in Canva, but if you wanted this font, you can go to Creative Fab Fabrica and then download it and then upload it onto Canva. And I do have a link um, below this video for that. Um, so what we're gonna do is go up to fonts and the font that I liked, I, you know, after looking for a while, because I do have spend quite a bit of time picking a font, but I decided to go with one that was called Ridge 5. And Ridge 5, it gives you sort of this, if you can see it, 
like lined look. And so I'm going to do it actually for that and for this. And so there is my perfect Ridge 5 font. So something like that is going to be pretty close to what I want. Now for the not my problem anymore, I decided to do that one with a different font. And again, I looked around for a while for a font I liked. I ended up going with one that is on Canva, by the way, and it is called Bad Horse. And Bad Horse is kind of cool. It gives sort of a different look, except for this one, I don't want it to be in all caps because this actually is a font where all of the letters are cap are caps, but you get different, um, I guess, different glyphs when you do it in lowercase. So I'm going to take it and I'm going to go back up to the big A, little A, and I'm going to make it lowercase and you can see how that automatically changed it. And now I'm just going to go ahead and make the first letter of each one of these capitalized. So it's going to say not my and i'm just capitalizing the first letter of each of these problem and then any more and so i really liked the way that that looked and again you can select any fonts that you want but i played with it for a while and i did like the way that that looked and so that is it for the fonts and then we are going to add literally two simple simple graphics and what i wanted to do was just some lines around like the corners so sort of like a frame um, and then it's just about selecting the colors that you want so it's really easy design and then super easy to scale out so let's go ahead and go to the left hand side of the page where it says elements and we can go ahead and put let's put frame and see what comes up we're going to go with graphics and you can see different styles of frames so there's completely all the way around frames, but then there's also these corner pieces. And so some of the corner pieces I like. Um, and so you can scroll down and see what you like. I'm looking specifically for some corner pieces that look cool. So like, again, here's just a corner piece. Here's another corner piece. I'm looking for something more that's going to go with this. So what I want it to be is some parallel lines, either very simple, like one line or two lines at most three lines, parallel lines that I think are going to look cool with this. You can always create your own too by just usually, I mean, by just hitting L on the keyboard. If you hit L on the keyboard, for example, let me do it down here. I hit L. That is going to pull up a line. I can go ahead and increase that line weight and I can have lines like this. So there would be nothing stopping me then from like trying to create my own lines and make my own borders, but it's easier if I can find one that's already made for me. So I'm just gonna keep looking here. So I changed out my, surf, uh, my search terms a few different times. And when I went ahead and searched for corner border, I found a lot more of what I was looking for. So when I hit corner border, I got a lot more of these simple line corners. So all of those, I think, look a lot better. And at this point, you can pick any of them that you like again these are all going to be cool corners and they're all a little bit different and so this is more of what i was looking for and so something like this for example if i was to make it white i could go up and put it in the corner something like that and of course i would make it a lot closer but it could be something like that so this isn't necessarily the one i want but that is more of what i am looking for so I played for a little bit and I came up with kind of these two that I liked. Now you can pick either one and just duplicate it or you can use both. So there's nothing that says that the corners actually have to match. So you can have two different corner pieces. And so I'm just going to keep it like this. It's pretty simple. I like the way it looks. So I'm going to go ahead and just close out of that. And so now that I have the basic shape that I like, I'm gonna pick some colors here. First, I wanna make sure that I have these sort of spaced exactly as I like. I don't want them too far out, but not too close either. So kind of keeping them what I think is pretty, pretty good there. And you can always use the arrows on your keyboard to move things up, down, left, right, little bits. Um, I also want to center this in the page and make sure everything is lined up the way I like. 
I do like to use my rulers and guides. So if you don't have them up, you can hit shift and R on your keyboard. So shift R will pull up your rulers and guides. And then what I can do is pull down this ruler here. And what you can see is make sure that my retired and my 2025 line up on both the top and the bottom because I want them to be the same size. And so that looks really good. So as long as I like that, I'm just going to go ahead and group the whole thing together. And all I have to do is left click in the corner of the page and drag over everything that I want grouped. And then what I can do is I can move it all as one. I can resize it all as one. And so that's gonna allow me to, to kind of place it wherever I want. So there it's a little bit more centered in the page and I could again resize it or whatnot. Um, and then not my problem anymore would come down here and that would be somewhat centered in the page. And so that's what that looks like. And so now colors, you can pick any of sort of the vintage style colors you wanted, or if I wanted to go with bright colors, I could do very bright colors. Um, so really whatever colors you wanted, you could go all white too. So some people like to do like just the all white style. And so there would be nothing really stopping you from putting up multiple versions of this too. So I could put up one version here that's just literally all white. And then I could go to the top here where it says duplicate page and I can make another copy and I can now make different colors. So let's say I wanted to do this one with sort of those different colors in mind. So maybe an orangey color. And let's say I wanted to make that one more of sort of a reddish color, maybe something that's a little bit more Maybe not orangey, maybe a little bit more ready, maybe a little bit more of a dirty red. And I can just sort of play with those. So I could do something like that. And then I can go ahead and pick some colors here. So let's say I wanted to make that retired, that same sort of yellowish yellow shade. I can go ahead and do that there. And then let's say I'm going to make each one of these different colors. So to do that, I would just highlight you got to highlight the individual number and then we can pick a color for each individual one so let's say i'm going to stick with sort of maybe more of a tanner shade so maybe i make that a little bit lighter and go sort of in that tan kind of shade maybe even a little lighter still something like that and then maybe the next one oops highlight the zero and maybe I go with the reddish shade. So I'm going to try to use some of the same colors here. So there's sort of more of my red shade. And then I'm going to pick two more colors. Um, let's see for the two. Let's go ahead. We'll go with more of like a teal color maybe or bluer shade. Let's see what I've got. Maybe more of a teal, maybe something not that bright. Maybe something that's going to look a little bit more like the design. Something there might look good. And maybe for the five, I use the yellow again. So something there. And then, of course, I can choose whatever color I want that to be. So let's just go ahead and reuse maybe like the tan. And so there is my design right there. And I've got the different colors going on. And now this, if I wanted it, to be the same sort of length, I can do it like that. And maybe I space it down a smidge. And so there we go. And so now I've got a colored version. And so now all I would do, same thing I did here and here, is if I wanted to change this, I can now duplicate the page. And now let's say next year is 2026. And I change that to a six and there I've got my design for next year. And let's say I wanted it to be maybe not retired, but I don't know, pick something divorced 2026. I can take the retired and I can change that word out. And so I can keep this overall layout. And so that is how you would go ahead and make this design and make it so that you can scale it out pretty quickly and easily. And again, you can do this many ways with lots of different fonts too. So I did it here. Nothing would stop me from again, duplicating the page and maybe saying, let's go with a different style font altogether. Maybe I wanted to do more grunge, more of a grunge style. And so for more of a grunge style, I don't know, maybe I picked a different font like that. And then if I was going to do that, I could take those and again, 
do it that way. And so that's not necessarily what I like, but just so you can see, I can go ahead then and change the different styles. If I was going to do that, I'd have to change this font too. And I probably wouldn't use solid lines. If I'm going to do grunge, I would have to have those lines or the border kind of look grunge as well. Or if I wanted to do, I don't know, let's see if I look for retro fonts and there's different retro fonts. There's retro rough. There's all sorts of different weird retro fonts that you could go with. I mean, not that I'm saying that's a good choice, but here's another just really retro kind of one. Or I could do again any of these i can just start playing with and so you can see how i could create uh different designs just by changing out the fonts too so typically if i create a design i'll make several versions of it and if i'm putting it up on amazon where i've got lots of slots to fill i will put up multiple versions if i'm putting it up on something like etsy i'm going to pick my best version and put that up on etsy but i'm still going to make like multiple versions to see which one i like best and i'll save them all too and then I can always you know, make adjustments in the future going forward. So once you have the design that you like, so let's say I'm gonna go with this one, I'm gonna go ahead and title this page, retired, and I'm gonna go 25, I'll call this one vintage. And then what we're gonna do is go up to the top corner of the page where it says share. We're gonna hit download. We want a transparent backgrounds. And for this, we just wanna pick the page that we're on. So current page is page two. I'm just going to download that. We'll hit done and then download. And now this is ready to go on whatever you want. So this might look good on a shirt or sweatshirt. It might also look good on a water bottle or some sort of um, like a tumbler kind of a thing. Um, so you can be as, again, creative as you want. You could put this on a tote bag. Obviously, if you're doing it on Amazon, you would put it on all of the products. If you were doing it on something like Etsy, you would select you know, the product that you want to sell and put it on that. So it really depends on, you know, what platform you're using. And if you're using multiple platforms, then just making sure that you, you know, select what's appropriate for each platform. If you have any questions about this, drop it in the comment section below. I try to get back to everybody as quickly as I can. Again, I do read all of the um, comments. Thank you so much for all the kind words. I uh, really appreciate it. I am trying to grow the channel. I know there's been some problems uh, with some of the links in the past. I think I've got all the links straightened out. So I do have a, a link for my Facebook page. Um, so if you wanna go there, you guys can communicate with one another. I do post the videos there as well. Um, and otherwise, I hope you guys are just doing really great. And as promised, I do have a list of five bonus niches. So stay tuned for that. All right. So as promised, here are your five bonus niches that are selling right now. Um, so without any more waiting, number one, weekend forecast, 100% chance of bourbon. And of course, this one can be scaled out. Just substitute the word bourbon for pretty much anything else. And this can go on almost forever. Number two, I'll be in my office. And for that, you can have the office be anything, whether it is the garage or the garden or, you know, out on a lake, whatever, that is where your graphics will come in. So again, one that you can scale out tremendously. Number three, what happens at bingo stays at bingo. And so a nice, funny one for the grandparents. And again, you can always scale this out to just be very careful with your choices but i do know that this did uh have no problem going on amazon i do have it on amazon via merch right now so it is it is safe to use that general phrase just be careful about your wording number four never judge a book by its movie reading shirts do do very well and so just another fun reading uh niche that you can do and lastly number five Today's good mood brought to you by coffee because we all love coffee and that is another big niche that everybody can enjoy. So take a second, you can write down this list or take a screenshot of it. And these are things that you can be working on this week. These are great evergreens. And the best thing about evergreens is they do sell obviously year round and these can all be relatively scaled out. So hopefully you guys can get some really great creative ideas from this. Um, and that is it for today's video. Again, I hope you guys found that useful. That's it for today's video. If you found that useful and would like to see more videos with helpful tips and tricks, be sure to hit like and subscribe.
and turn on your notifications so you don't miss any of the weekly videos. As always, keep growing and stay creative, and we'll see you next time.